blood supply of the proximal humerus. The axillary artery gives the anterior humeral circumflex artery, which can stimose with the posterior humeral circumflex artery. The anterior humeral circumflex artery gives the ascending branch. The ascending branch runs a few millimeter posterior, lateral, and parallel to the biceps tendon and the bicipital groove. The arcuate artery is the terminal branch of the ascending branch of the anterior circumflex artery. The arcuate artery gives the majority of blood supply to the humeral head. The arcuate artery is an end artery. Proximal humerus neck fracture can be anatomical neck fracture or surgical neck fractures. Anatomical neck fracture equal to the articular piece fracture. This fracture could interrupt the blood supply and could lead to a vascular necrosis of the humeral head. Fractures of the surgical neck of the humerus usually have adequate blood supply with a relatively low incidence of avascular necrosis. Comminution of the fracture, the dissection and exposure of the fracture, and the position of the implant always plays a major role in the development of avascular necrosis of the humeral head. Ouch. Hello, Doc. I was up in this tree, then the branch broke, and I landed on my shoulder. Now I'm in a lot of pain. Come right away. I think I'll record this and send it to the doc with my eye bone. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.